All right. Right. She's been waiting for this all morning. Go no, for it. No, I haven't, but I, I, my voice is still struggling, and here's why. As some of you know, I, I spent the weekend in Chicago where I worked for the last six years, saw some friends, had some fun at the Bears game. They did lose, unfortunately. And I did a pretty good job humiliating myself singing at a fundraiser with Richard Marks. channeling my inner Joan Jet. I hate myself for loving you. It, um, had a little liquid courage before I went on. I guess so. But the event, it's called News of Palooza. It's actually a pretty good um, philosophy. Uh, they take local newscasters, reporters, anchors, and people pay big money to see them out of their element. Really? So yeah, there's lot, and not everybody is that good. But I want to thank Richard Roper, Rokan, <laughs> two radio icons. I am not going to sing it for you guys. See, all these I, months, my voice is gone. You've been all these months. I've, always, I've asked you, you can sing. I've asked you to sing, and you've, you've never done it. So now you're going to take us to break with I, a little? Just, a little just give us a little something. It'd be raspy. It'd be sexy. Go for it. Give, 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 come on, get the lights. I hate myself for loving you. Oh, Paula Ferris. I actually love myself for loving you. <laughs> I'm impressed, Richard Marks. Yes, indeed. I turned my back and then you've been messing around. Oh, not me. No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a choir boy. I'm impressed with you. Check around at the Grammys, folks.